friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're back again. Thank you for coming. So happy that you are here. Um, how is everyone? Are we good? Uh, we are here with a bag opening and I recently got a kit in the mail that I thought I would show you today because I think they are gonna sell out fairly quickly and I just want you to have an opportunity to have a look at it. So, um, if you could subscribe and like and comment all those things that would be awesome uh if you don't feel like it, it you know it's cool i don't like to be like the youtube bullies but it, it, it you know it is it's cool um i'm coming up on a thousand subscribers i if, when i say coming up i'm over 900 so you know there's a, many yet to go but a thousand is kind of the um the beginning number in youtube where you're like um uh they consider you significant or you're you're like You've proven that you're you can hang in for a thousand subscribers, so uh, thank you for for your part in that. I I really appreciate it. So uh, we're doing creative notions and uh, a Riley Bla a Riley Blake kit. So let's switch to the other camera and have a look. Alrighty, so we've got the oh it's got a pull tab. I was all ready with my my opener, but it's got a pull tab. Oh, okay. This is, uh, as I said, this is Creative Notions. Creative Notions is 40 a month plus shipping. This is my second Creative Notions box or bag, as the case may be. And this is a cute bag. It's, yeah. Okay, here we go. Got all the, all the goods out of it. Set the bag over to the side here. Let's find our our documentation. Here we go. Creative notions. This is the June box. My heart belongs to my farmer by Poppy Cotton. What's in the bag? Eight fat quarters. So that is these. Okay, just because this thing is in the way. This is another one of those magnets that picks up anything magnetic. I now have more than I could ever use, but these suckers are, are cool. So we've got a cute little sort of gingham -y check here. A little dot, some hugs and kisses. A little farm life, we got piggies and chickens. Barns, strawberries, oh, that's cute. And it says love, love all over it. Some hearts, some flowers, hearts and flowers. Oh, this is adorable. I wish I had a farmer in my life. This would be, look at these little tractors. And they're hauling little things of flowers. That's, that's super cute. I definitely... Again, fabric choice, not necessarily my taste, but a uh, really cute. Okay, I'm just making a big old mess here. Let's set that aside. We got some goodies, some snackies, some starbursts, and uh, looks like a mint, maybe. Okay, next up is a is rhombus template. A rhombus star set. Okay, so these are templates to make this thing up here. Okay, cool. Um, a cotton dish towel. Well, you can never have too many of those. Nice one, nice cotton dish towel. Good one for uh, embellishment. Magnetic pin wand, we already did that. Garden bloom. Block of the month. Set this. Oh, and it's this. Garden Bloom Block of the Month Daisy. 
and block of the month larkspur cute so the blocks of the month must be flowers duh um and then we've got a table topper using the fabric that we got here and then apparently there is a kitchen towel idea inside let's see let's see what this kitchen towel idea that they speak of This looks complicated. I don't mean to say that in a negative way, but it looks complicated. More of that, more of that. Okay. Oh, so you make a strip and sew it onto the towel. Is apparently the, I'm not seeing. Okay, I give up. I give up. I'm confused. No, I just really not that hard. So we've got a jelly roll strawberry pie. Jelly roll pan strawberry pie. It's too bad these are all, this is June. Like they're not, because strawberries are not in season right now. But, oh, not the block of the month. Garden bloom quilt. Oh, I see. Okay, so all these, there's the larkspurs and daisies and cute. Okay, and then you can also make a table runner using the fabric that we got. Block of the month two. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. New kits are available in their store. Oh, uh, I, I think that's it. I think we've, we've seen, we've seen it. So, um, I think that I will be letting creative notions go. One of the ones that I will be, um, terminating, or at least taking a break on. It isn't that it's not a good, um, value or a good box, but you know, as I've spoken before, some things just kind of got to go. So, and that's one of the ones that I, I don't look forward to as much as I do other ones. Okay, so here's the kit. I can't get this camera any higher, so I, it's maybe I can just lift it up a little more so you can see. This is the Riley Blake Masquerade Madness Quilt Kit. Now, before I even open this up and give any look at it, I want to say this thing is pricey. Um, I got mine at the, fabric, <clears throat> at the fabric patch and they are already sold out. I don't think they got very many of them though. So that might not be a good, um, litmus test as to how fast these are going. But I went online and I looked around this morning and Fat Quarter Shop has them for $138.98, which is the least amount I've seen them anywhere else. Uh, Etsy has quite a few of them. Etsy has them anywhere from about $145 up to almost $200, which is, come on. I mean, give me a break. But anyway, it's freaking adorable. I just, I love this. I love this cat. I just, everything about it. So I am going to slide the outside thing off. I, okay, is there a reason why? I just, there we go. Off to the side. This is my hecky slip. So it comes in this nifty box. It's got like a magnetic thing. And then it uses Mad Masquerade Fabric by J. Wrecker Fritsch. That's all the, all the necessities. It apparently has a lot of templates. Or let's just say that it's something that I have not ever done before, but I'm I'm going to give it a go. It's but look at all this. This fabric is just even if you don't get the kit, but you might be interested in the fabric. 
It's really cute. I wonder what this is. It's like a, what a curious plan. Nonsense, begin at the beginning. Halloween, oh my fur and whiskers. The Duchess, the Duchess, who, like this might be from something. I love this fabric. I wonder what this, okay, wait, there was. Okay. So it does fusible, fusible applique. It's using, okay, it's using the Riley Blake fabric, the, the um, Mad Masquerade, but it's also got, and this may be part of it, this, this aged stuff, white, lime, aqua, no, yeah, aqua, Pumpkin, aged white. So that's that's that, and you get um, a ton. This is this down here is the background of the. Let me show you the picture of the quilt again. Is all of this, and it tells you how much to get for your backing back. You know, so anyway. Since I had it, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to see it just in case it was something that you were contemplating on. Um, this is my next up. How did they get this in here? Goodness. This is my next up project. Um, so I'll keep you posted on how that goes. See you in a minute. In case you want to see, get a closer look. I don't, when I show you things like this, I, I've got no affiliation. I've got, it's, I not, this means nothing. Like I, I get nothing from this. I'm just, I've got it. I'll show you. Um, I always feel a little trepidation showing things that are as pricey as this is, but you know, if you're going to make that investment, maybe it's cool to have at least a, a little bit of a look at it before you go ahead and make it happen. So, um, I think that that is it for today. I, I have started uh, machine quilting, the quilt that's going to hang in my office. So, um, next week, I think we're just going to be doing some show and tell. So, uh, I hope everybody's good and um, be well, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.